Hi, welcome to Gallium Lab Tutorials for Data Domain. What is Data Domain? It delivers a scalable, high speed, and cloud enabled protection storage for backup, archive, and disaster recovery. The following is how to set up a data domain to be added to a network or environment. First, we go to our DNS to define our hostname for a new data domain. Once your hostname is set up in the DNS, it is time to create your data domain virtual machine. Today we will be using vSphere. Name your data domain. Select your configuration, select your storage settings, select your network settings, review everything you've selected, wait for your virtual machine to deploy. This may take a minute. Before turning on your virtual machine, add a new virtual hard drive of 500 gigabytes for the new file system on your data domain. Once it has been added, turn on your virtual machine and wait for the boot process. This boot process may take 10 minutes. The default login is sysadmin and the password is change me. Here you'll be prompted to change the password. Enter your desired network information. Log on to your data domain GUI by using the desired IP. Log into your data domain using sysadmin and your newly defined password. First things first, let's create our new file system. For now, we can keep everything as a default. We can also skip the assessment and configure that at another time. This final step will take 15 to 20 minutes. Now we can create our ddboost users. We start by enabling it. Then we add slash create our new local users. That's it for ddboost right now. Now we head over to administration, settings, 
and then SNMP trap hosts. When creating your trap host, use your desired networker FQDN. Use the port 162 and the community set it to public. This concludes our setup for Data Domain for Networker. Now you're free to explore the other configuration possibilities. Thank you for watching.